serious? Are you serious? Folks, now a few days ago I did a video called the Doomsday um, Eclipse, a total eclipse that's going to go across America. We haven't had a total eclipse of the sun since February 26, 1998 that went all the way across America. So this, it's, you know, basically, folks, we're looking at almost 19 years since this event has taken place. But it will take place next year, August 21st, 2017, a total eclipse of the sun. The sun will become as dark as sackcloth of hair. Daylight will turn to night. And uh, it will begin at 1.20 p.m. in the afternoon and last till 1.22 p.m. And this will take place uh, across America. But what you don't know is the really strange event that will happen seven years later. It will take place on April the uh, April the eighth, April the eighth, two thousand twenty-four. Uh, just a little less than seven years later, there will be another total eclipse of the sun that will go across America. Uh, this time, as it goes across, it will cross. There's a spot where literally the two different eclipses cross at a significant point. We did some research to find out where that point is, and it happens to be in Carbondale, Illinois. All right? Southern Illinois. Carbondale, Illinois happens to be the city of Southern Illinois. Illinois University, the Salukis is what they're called themselves. Well, here's something I, I went to see. Why is this happening? Is there anything significant about this location on Earth? Because basically, if you live in Carbondale, Illinois, you can watch the total eclipse of the sun next year and then, then seven years later, watch it again twice over your same city, which is unbelievable. This won't happen no other place in the world. Um, Carbondale, the nickname of this city is Little Egypt. What? Why? Well, in 1830 and 1831, the winter of 1830 and 31, they had what was called the winter of deep snow. And uh, early frost hit that year in September up in the northern part of Illinois. And uh, the winter was so bad, it lasted all the way into late spring that there was, that they had no, they had a horrible harvest. So they were out of grain. But down there in Carbondale, their, their harvest was plentiful. And it just, they had tons of it, tons of grain. And so they were able to supply the northern part of the state uh, and in parts of Indiana, parts of Missouri, parts of Wisconsin. Unbelievable it, that they nicknamed the Carbondale area there, they nicknamed it Little Egypt. It's where the grain was. Well, this went on a little bit further than that. We found out later that down in southern Illinois, that uh, not too far from Carbondale, is where the Mississippi and the Ohio River meet in a little town called Cairo, Illinois. Not Cairo, Egypt. But anyway, kind of strange. As a matter of fact, the first train that ever passed through Carbondale, Illinois, came from Cairo, Illinois, on Independence Day, July 4th, 1854. Now, there's two newspapers currently, right now, in Carbondale, Illinois. One's called the Southern Illinoisan. The other one's called the Daily Egyptian. What? Are you serious? And, uh, weird enough, there was a, a man by the name of Jeremy Roachman, uh, his son had died in a horrible car accident at the age of 19. Jeremy then created a memorial park and built a castle in the park. But when you go in the castle, it's really weird. And there's life-size uh, figures of the dungeons and dragons on the inside of this castle. Really strange. Again, Carbondale, Illinois. Also, southern Illinois University, the Salukis. What's a Saluki? A Saluki is an Egyptian breed of dog. Matter of fact, it's the oldest breed in the world. They're called Salukis. They are a royal dog. And 
Carbondale, Illinois is known for its riots on Halloween. In the 1980s, they had some dreadful riots, horrible vandalism. In the 1990s, again, horrible riots there in the city of Carbondale on Halloween night. And the last one they had was the year 2000, a terrible riot, flipping cars, vandalism, people getting hurt, tear gas. It was the riot of Halloween night of 2000. They then had to shut all the bars down and for 15 years uh, basically have martial law on Halloween night in Carbondale, Illinois, putting strict curfews. They just now lifted it. Why all of this weirdness? Why all of this happening in Carbondale? And why Egypt? When you think of Egypt, you think of the pyramids, right? And you think about the weirdness of the sun worship and Ray and, 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 the, and, the, and the different ways of the eclipses and all the different things with the pyramids. And so you start to wonder, is there something going on? Is there something significant about these two solar eclipse are when I you know when I say it's the doomsday eclipse I'm not saying it's the end of the world I'm not saying Jesus is coming back that day I'm just saying I'm just saying is there something significant there's even a lake in just outside of Carbondale called Devil's Kitchen Lake I mean you can't make this stuff up folks are you serious you can't make this stuff up and even during the 1858, the great debates, 1858 and 1859, the great debates between Abraham Lincoln and, and, uh, and Douglas, Stephen Douglas, all over Illinois, they had a debate in which uh, Abraham Lincoln said, whatever we do, we must save Little Egypt, referring to Southern Illinois area and Carbondale. What's that mean? Anyway, there's been a ton of stuff that's happened. And there's a whole lot more to, we're going to investigate further. Carbondale, Illinois, the only site on the planet where the next two total eclipses of the sun will intersect in one location on August the 21st, 2017 and April the 8th, 2024. Are you serious? Are you serious? It's the doomsday eclipse. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time. I'll meet you in Carbondale next year. What?